What's up, Journeyers? Hey, welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our EDC holsters and belts and the pros and cons between cheap holsters and cheap belts and quality holsters and quality belts. We're so glad that you found us. If you're new, welcome. I'm Corey and I'm Damien. And if you really enjoy what we're doing here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Uh, it makes a huge difference to the channel. It really helps us out over here. It doesn't cost you a dime and by all means, you can change your mind later if you'd like to, so. We'd also love for you to jump down in the comments. Let's start some discussion about things we're talking about today or future videos you would love to see us do and blast that thumbs up button if you like what you see. So today, like we said, we're gonna be talking about some things we used at the beginning of our journey. And the whole point of this video is to allow us to make the mistakes for you. And at the beginning of my journey, I bought a really cheap belt, really flimsy. It collapses really easy if you put it through a holster, which really doesn't help you draw a firearm at all properly without getting it up and out of the holster a little bit. And I used a really cheap holster. Like for example, this guy right over here, uh, I'll let Damien talk a little bit more about this, but it's just, it's cheap, it's flimsy, didn't hold, it doesn't conceal at all. And these are kind of the things that we just went down to the store and bought at the beginning of the journey because I wanted to carry, but didn't know what to carry. Yeah, or or how to carry, right? You know, I mean, exactly. like, I don't think there's any right way to do it, but there is certainly a better way to do it. And I'm somewhat, like, this is an Uncle Mike's nylon holster no retention besides the strap going over the top and an extremely loose belt loop here. It does have some Velcro in it, so you could customize it to fit your specific belt a little bit better. But uh, I don't I don't recommend this or suggest this to anybody. As a matter of fact, I mean, we own it. And we bought it right at a certain point in time when, unfortunately, we didn't know any better. So going back to that point of like, you know, let our knowledge and experience just be the mistakes for you instead of having to make them on your own. So this is something I definitely wouldn't recommend for outside the waistband carry. Definitely not. Or I mean, concealed carry, no way. Kydex is the way of the future, if you ask me. Uh, for one, it's got solid retention, yeah, right? Exactly. And it can be remolded if you have uh, like, this is for a shield with a crimson trace laser on it, but you could just heat this up. If let's say you got a TLR6 on your shield now, you could heat this up and you could lock in your shield with a TLR6 now and you're able to adjust the tension on them, the retention them specifically, like going uh, high dollar and high quality here for a reason. Uh, you see here, we've got a retention screw. You can adjust how it actually fits the firearm, how snug it rides in there or loose it rides in there. That's gonna be personal preference, you know, based on how snug is your belt, whatever. Th those are all things that are gonna come down to it, but. The adjustability, like the the fit, the form, you know what I mean? How much of a difference it really makes. Like you get what you pay for generally. I, I, I think some people say that too often, but generally I do agree you get what you pay for. Like, I mean, this holster is 30 or $40, whereas this holster, this is the Axis Elite from Tier 1 Concealed. Shout out Tier 1 Concealed. Uh, these guys make an absolutely fantastic product outside the waistband inside the waistband they make them with the side caddy as well um spare mag caddy and this is like 130 dollar holster so keep that in mind it's definitely expensive but something to consider is like all the stuff like this is a 40 dollar holster i don't use anymore here's something from raven outside the waistband high quality they did a good job making this right but i don't wear it anymore that was 60 dollars there's a hundred bucks right there already that just sits in a tub underneath our workbench, you know? Let's talk about uh, this one from a &R Design, right? Still, also another quality Kydex holster, really it is. But, you know, this is 55 to $70 and this one doesn't get worn anymore because eventually we found the cream of the crop and that's $130 versus, let's do some quick math here, 70, 40, 111 plus whatever 50 for the uh, Raven and you're up at $160, which, now I've got three holsters I don't use versus one that I wear every day and I have for three years. So, I mean, that's your trade off, right? And I mean, that's just the expense of experience, unfortunately, the way we learned, right? The hard way. Exactly. But the importance with Kydex too, is you got to remember that cheap nylon holster or leather holsters, like Damien said, they wear out. 
and you can catch something like that in your trigger when you go to holster your firearm and that's bent in and that catches your trigger. I've seen so many pictures of people shooting themselves in the thighs or God forbid down south, you know, or even through the butt cheek because they're carrying it to four o'clock position. That, that, man, that's one of those things. It's like, it's so easily to avoid that by not going the cheap route Absolutely. on some of those cheaper holsters. Yeah. And it goes the same with the belt. Like I said up here, I had this cheap belt that I start, first started wearing with this holster. And for demonstration's sake, if I go to pull a firearm out of this, you can see how it's like bending the belt and not keeping that. And so that's why it's the importance of getting some high quality belts. Blue Alpha Gear makes some phenomenal belts. The new one that Warrior Poet Society just listed, I know you ordered, I oh, ordered yeah. it. It's got the, the ratcheting type system, yeah. the next Super belt. Cool. Those are phenomenal belts yeah. that really bring that high quality dexterity to some of these things where when you put it through a holster, it's not gonna bend, it's not gonna twist. You draw your firearm, the holster's staying in one place. So you right. want that rigidness in a holster like what you see here today. Also, uh, some of these holsters, like this is the one I run right now. I just ordered my tier one holster going with the appendix and the sidecar sticking out of it. But you can see here where my belt goes through here, this wing that's attached to it is almost level and it really serves no purpose in concealing because it doesn't stick out any further. Similar. And so I notice when I carry my Glock 45 and then I've got you know the mag extension in it and it's sitting in, it's not concealing any different. It's not doing that kind of stuff. And so you put that in there and this wing is serving no purpose whatsoever to kick it over any further. So that's just kind of like dead weight hanging out there. As opposed to like this tier one holster, you can see the belt and where this meets it is really helping kick that in to help conceal a little bit further in right. that angle. Yeah. This is something I wear all day, every day. And I tell you, I wore this for a whole day, one day, and it really wasn't that comfortable. It, it didn't leave me wanting to wear it again. You know, I wasn't yeah. like, oh, I'm looking forward to tomorrow when I get to carry my gun and this thing again. No way. But it makes carrying a breeze, right? I mean, it's, it's half the battle. Right? And I'm, yeah. the belt is the other half, to For be sure. honest. For yeah. sure. One thing, too, uh, I mean, prices, a lot of things, like Damien said, you get what you pay for. But Bravo Concealment sells a great outside the waistband holster. It has great retention on it. And one thing I love with these holsters, uh, specifically, is you can hear that retention in there as well. Like, that is, that is in there. And what I love about this holster is all of us here at the Concealed Journey are hunters. I don't like to appendix carry when I'm hunting. I'm climbing up and down hills. So I'll, I have one of these holsters. I think it was 40 bucks and it was buy one, get yeah. one free. And I got another one. And so I keep it right at the three o'clock while I'm hunting. I'm not worried about concealing. It's under my coat. So I'm going to run into one maybe person out there. More likely I'm going to run into more people than I am deer because that's how deer hunting goes. But I love having my firearm just in case mountain lion, whatever's going on out there. I like having something there, but I don't like carrying it here where it's gonna dig in as I'm crawling or you know, belly crawling over to get sure. to that deer with my bow over there, but at least I've got something on me. So these are great holsters, very affordable, easy to carry right there, very comfortable as well. So the purpose of the belt is to uh, hold your pants up, I guess. I don't know, like my pants are staying up without the belt right now. It's really to hold my gun up. That's, that's why I wear a belt. That's why I chose a super rigid belt as well. This is the hybrid EDC from Blue Alpha Gear. Uh, the nice thing about this is that the female buckle is actually narrower in dimension this way, right? Right here, narrower in dimension. So it actually fits through the belt loop. So you don't have to constantly take this Velcro and string through the Cobra buckle every time you're gonna put your pants on. You know what I mean? I don't know how many of you wear a different pair of pants every day, but um, you know, if you got a if you got a thread a belt through a new pair of pants every day, whatever, it also wears out the it also wears out the Velcro if you constantly have to thread this through. So I think what they did with this hybrid EDC is super nice because you can just run it right through. And I've got to admit, when I first started carrying appendix, I did notice some lower back strain. Like I noticed, like wow, these muscles certainly aren't mm -hmm. used to this. And getting a, getting a nice belt, a quality belt, really makes a difference because uh, it really helps distribute that weight around your waistline Definitely. for just ease and comfort of carrying all day long. So that's some of the gear that we use, some of the holsters that we got. Like I said, we'll put links down below to everything. You got anything to add? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is uh, somewhat of like a buy once, cry once kind of thing that we're really touching on here. Um, it, it really makes a difference, the gear that you buy, how, totally. how much it's gonna cost for you. And, you know. What you want out of the year is something to definitely consider as well. You know? For sure. Hey, thanks everybody. We'll see you next Wednesday for the next video.
So the nice thing about the belts, right? Uh, is that blue alpha gear too? Yep, we got two blue alpha okay, gear belts great. here. Yeah, awesome. Well, who made that one? Uh, Forever 21. I liked it because it had the stars and stripes on it. Hey, no, that's great patriotism, man. You know, like for real, all day, every day.